Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art. Today we're making a 3D project for your desk. This could be for you or as a gift. I love making 3D projects and I think this one turned out really pretty. Now, how to make this is I used a Dollar Store, Dollar Tree um, photo holder. So these are only a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five. Now they did raise their prices. But it's a very um, inexpensive way to make a beautiful desktop gift for someone and the sticky notes are actually also from the dollar tree five for a dollar or a dollar 25 <laughs> so you'll have to check at your local um store sorry my dog is getting whiny he's in the cage right now um just so he wouldn't be noisy but uh that didn't seem to work that great that's okay so i'll go and grab i forgot to grab the plastic pieces we're gonna make two of these today so i can't wait to show you the next one but this one is using the daffodil daydream um dies for the da the daffodils here this is from that stamp set and then this greeting right here is actually from the flowering rain boots stamp set which um, would go also really well with this set so I love this live life in full bloom I thought that was a really encouraging sentiment to put on here so let's go ahead and put this together I will go and grab some plastic pieces just a moment this is what they look like from the store special moments memories collection so it's a six by four photo frame. So I'll put those to the side for the moment. And I have some pieces here for the daffodil. And oh, did I forget to, I think I forgot to cut out the, um, the flower bit. So we'll just do that together. So I've got crushed curry. I'm taking all of the colors from the back of the DSP. This is the free DSP that you get with celebration purchases right now. It's free with a $50 purchase. And um, I'll show you a secret and at the end here with that. So let's go ahead and pull this out. This is what the daffodil dies look like. So I'm going to pull out this detailed one and the solid center. I tried to be prepared, but it didn't quite work. Oh well, close enough. So I'll go ahead and put that on my scraps here. Weird shaped scraps work great for little pieces. Got my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Love it for the desktop. And then just run that through. I'd love it if you say hi and tell me where you're watching from. I like to see who's watching. You can join my email list um, listed below there uh, for some more tips and ideas, updates on sales and whatnot. Okay, so we don't need this scrap piece and I'll put the dies away. Okay, so now we've got all of these little pieces and I've got my stem pieces. So the leaves here are mossy meadow. The stem bit is pear pizzazz. These are very vanilla and this is crushed curry. So we'll go ahead and start gluing some things together. Uh, the trick to matching up the petals here is I always look for this one with the little quite angular corner here and then the piece here also has a quite an angular corner right there. So that will match up perfectly with that one. So we'll just go ahead and put glue on here. You could run this through with our adhesive backed um, sheets. So this would turn into a sticker or you could run it through your Xyron machine. Um, but I just like to add glue to it because I, I never remember to to put my adhesive sheets on there. This isn't too much of a hassle to do. So I did color on color. You could always do yellow with white or I'm gonna pick that up to press it down, but you could do a bunch of different colors just to see what it would look like. But I, I did that and I liked how the vanilla looked with the crushed curry with the paper that comes free. But you could probably do some pinks or something with some vanilla. Wouldn't that look cute? So here's here's some some crushed curry petals that I 
cut out and then I did the vanilla center, which also looks cute. And then I did a um, soft, or no, so saffron center, but it didn't match the paper. So I, I didn't like how it looked with this one, but it would look good, you know, on a card or something. I like how that looks too. Anyway, let's get putting this together. Oops, if I can grab things. <laughs> Put it in the center, but I also wanna get it all the way to these little finger ends. Just drag that glue just a little bit there. All right, where's my corner? There's my corner, there's my corner. And I'll pick this up so I can pinch the sides so it really lines up. All right, we've got those two. And you see the corner here and the corner here? I'm going to put this petal, which is the same as this one, um, on the opposite side. So between these two petals, so that we really get a good difference of uh, petals there. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'll go ahead and just add some glue in the center there. And then we'll put our crushed curry center together. So we've got just a couple weeks left for our free celebration items. So don't forget to get those before time runs out because they will not be available anymore. I like getting free stuff when I order stuff. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Let's see, let's, so what I did here, this is kind of fun. So I'm going to glue the center flat, but I'm gonna put a little thin strip of dimensionals along the edge so that this kind of stands up just a little bit. So let me grab my, well, I'm grabbing my mini dimensionals and see this thick border? I'm just going to cut a strip of that. This is probably too long. So I'll just trim it off just a little bit. And we'll just curve that around this edge here. Just like that. That'll help it to pop up a little bit. And then I'll just add a little bit of glue here at the bottom. We don't want that falling off. And then I'll put that like so. There's our cute little flower. And so we will get our photo frame ready. So you take out this piece, we don't need that, we'll throw that away. But you also have a plastic protective layer on here. So make sure you remove this because you don't wanna glue your stuff to this and then realize, oh no. <laughs> so this is just making sure that the piece doesn't come scratched when you get it. So just carefully peel that off. Look how nice and clean that is now. It looked a little dirty before that. So that looks really nice throw that away and we will get out a piece of DSP from that paper pack here's what I wanted to show you I actually put all of the patterns back here so you could trade this out this even looks cool clear so we've got this piece I'll just hold this up like this we've got that piece with the, the flowers in the grass the other side looks cool too. Let me see. I'm in the camera here. This piece, I almost didn't want to cut up because it made it makes such cool easy cards, but you could make six card fronts with this whole sheet or four home decor pieces. And I think this one is really pretty back there. This just looks like it's part of this group of flowers back there. And then the other side of that so really you can't go wrong with any of these. And if you want to just cut, cut some four by six pieces and just switch it out every now and then. And it's the same, you know, it's your same decor piece, but it looks a little bit different, which is kind of fun. Oh, Guster. 
He's not so happy to be in there. This one's so cute with the little hearts. Oh my goodness. So you have to let me know which one your favorite is. This one's really busy. We got some plaid on the background here. That one's cute. And then we've got this one. With the colors I used here in the flower with the yellow, um, I would probably have done the, um, what is this? The uh, pale papaya, I think. You could do a pale papaya here and then it would match this piece a little better. But that one looks cool too. And then the back of that is just pale papaya and that looks really nice too, nice and subtle. So I went with this one for the back of this first one that I made. So let's pick a new one for this next one. I really like this one. So we can just stick the rest of those back behind there. Oops. If you just pull this out just a little bit, you won't bend your corners. Slip that back there, four by six. And since we're just gluing on the front, you can always switch this out without damaging um, your piece. Now, if I were selling these, I might glue the paper in there so it wouldn't get lost, but um, these would probably make really good craft fair items as well. I'm just gonna add some liquid glue to this piece right here. And it's gonna go about like this. I don't wanna go too far with the glue, so I'm gonna stop right here. So I'm putting the stem down first. Oops, I don't want to get glue on there. Pick a spot and stick with it. Right there. I think that'll look good. Yeah. Okay. If you get some glue on the background here, just wait till it dries and you should be able to just rub it off probably. If not, they've got these nice rubber glue erasers at the Dollar Tree. Can you tell that I like the Dollar Tree? <laughs> now on this one, I think I just glued that flat down, but you could put that on a dimensional. I wonder how that would look. It'd be popping even more. Let's try it. So let's get a dimensional for the center here. I think I glued these three petals down on the other one, but I, I kind of like the idea of giving this even more dimension. I'm gonna curl the petals up just a little bit. And I want this stem to kind of continue with the middle of the flower. Like that. And I'm going to place this here so I can kind of see where things should center on this side. I don't need to glue it on yet, but I'm just gonna place it. It just kind of sits there. So that helps me know where to place things. So this is glued down, that's glued down. We've got two leaves and I'm going to try to cover up um, where the they meet here, just to kind of give it a little bit of a clean look at the bottom. Might have this sticking up just a bit. All right, so let's put some glue here. I'm gonna leave the tip unglued so it can kind of fly up a little bit. Right there, right alongside that stem. Maybe we could add a, a mini dimensional to the back of that top piece. That would be cool. It might be a little thick, let's see. Will that fit? I think that'll fit under there. Let's try it. Should have done that first. Should have done that first because now I have a crease in my paper, but that's okay. It's still pretty. It's still cute. All right, so let's go and do that with this one too. I'm gonna add a mini dimensional to the last little spot I can without, I could make a little thinner one. Let's, let's support this end piece too. Let's cut another thin piece. Don't forget about the edges of your dimensionals, right? 
They're so useful for these skinny bits. All right, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, here we go. And that's a little bit, it's a little bit too long. I'm just gonna trim the end off. Make sure that's sticking on the right side there. I think it's on now. All right, we'll take our backings off and then this is gonna stick here-ish. So glue until about there, okay. You can use tear and tape, you can use seal plus. I wouldn't use regular seal. I think it's gonna be a little bit too um, light. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm really gonna push this one down because I realized I'm gonna put my label here and it's already gonna be on dimensionals. I did emboss this in white, but I wanna show you how to add the color with some Stampin' Blends. So I thought this was a fun idea. I have this one and it's got a little bit of pink in the background. So does this one, that's good. So I've got Flirty Flamingo Dark and we actually don't have a crushed curry blend, so I just have Mango Melody Dark. So they, these will both work well. So I'm gonna get my brush tip out. Actually, I'm gonna get the, the skinny tip. Skinny tip out, and I'm just going to color in this life right here. I figured life is very bright and colorful, like a yellow, and bloom is more flowery, so I did that one in the pink. So I'm gonna let that dry, but we're gonna go over it and over it and do the bottom half over and over again so that that looks a little bit more ombre, which is so in right now. And since this is on black paper, the black cardstock, if you go off of the letters a little bit, you shouldn't be able to see it. All right, so I'm gonna go over this again, but just the bottom half. So I'll just be looping where the letters connect, the bottom half of the letters, just over and over. Maybe dragging it up a little bit, but really getting that bottom edge. You can see that really gives it some fun dimension. You can see the difference between the yellow and the pink. Hopefully you can see the difference. Is it showing up on camera? I think so. Becky says, how cute. Thanks, Becky. So we've also got this pink one we gotta do. So go over and over the bottom half of those letters. And you wanna give it just a second to dry because if you, I don't know if you've ever used alcohol markers before, sometimes if you don't wait, it just kind of scrapes the color away instead of adding more color. But if you wait a couple seconds, it will start layering the color together. So just be patient. kind of blending between the bottom half and the top half, and then I'm gonna add more at the bottom. Trying to stay on the lines. There. I think that turned out really cute. So I'll go ahead and add dimensionals on the back of this. Since I have a dimensional here, I won't put one in the center. I'll just put some on the corners. And I, this is when you would use your black dimensionals. If you haven't picked up the black dimensionals, they're so cool. So you can put them on the back of black cardstock and it just seems to just melt into the project and not be noticeable. The package of black dimensionals comes with the regular size and the mini, so you don't have to buy two different sizes. They're just so cool. I think it's two sheets of each. I could be wrong. There we go. I'm just gonna put that right here. So I'm trying to make it even between this gap and this gap. Actually, we want to stick this 
right where we want it first. So I'm gonna make it even between the top and the bottom. And then there we go. Now you see we have all these tails down here. We'll just go ahead and take our snips at a little bit of an angle, oops, and trim them all at once. And now we can stamp our pad. We only have to do the top sheet. Um, and as you use this, you won't have these, you know, continuously stamped. But if you give it as a gift, stamping the top page is going to look really nice. So I'll get out my memento. And you don't need to color it or anything. It's just a black and white nice image. I forgot to stamp this one before I put it together. So um, if you already glued this to there, you can just pick this up and hold it as you stamp. Um, that will give it a, a nice firm look. But I'm going to go off of the side here just a little bit. Guess what? If we did a bad image, just rip the top sheet off and get to the next one. <laughs> there we go. It looks really cute. All right, so I'm going to add this with tear and tape. I think the last time I used Stamp and Seal Plus. But I'm going to do a little different this time. And we're going to make a second one. So stick around for the second one. So as you or your recipient uses this up, the only thing still stuck to the page or the plastic here will be this backing sheet and they can just glue a whole new stack of sticky notes right on the top of that. So this is totally reusable. Once you use all your sticky notes, just add another stack. I'm really gonna get this stuck down there though because I don't want it to come off. all the way around the edges and maybe one in the middle. I don't know if you saw my post earlier, but they released the hint for the next paper pumpkin for March and it coordinates with the suite that I used last week. The one with the horizon paper and the easy stamping with the making the different scenes and stuff. I'm so excited for this one. And this next kit, always in March, they give an extra free stamp set. So there's two stamp sets in the next paper pumpkin, which is so cool. So if you haven't tried paper pumpkin yet, I would highly recommend this month as your first one. This is a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna take all these out so it's a little bit easier to straighten this front piece. I wonder if the holder's crooked. Hmm. Okay. So there, I just wanna make sure that the edge was straight. Ooh, sticky. All right, so I'm trying to get an even border on the top, the bottom. This side's gonna be a little bit thinner than the top and the bottom, that's okay. Okay, there we go. And to top it off, I'm going to add one of our bumblebee trinkets. I think these are so stinking cute. I am always a little hesitant to put them on cards because I just love them so much and I don't want somebody to get a card and then throw it away because <laughs> they're so stinking cute, right? So I think this home decor piece idea, whether you do this kind of thing or a shadow box, adding these trinkets and just sprinkling them on, nobody's going to throw this away, you know? So this is a perfect use of your, your precious items that you just save because you just can't you know, waste them. Is anybody else like that? You have things that you're like, well, I love, 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 love this craft thing. So I can't waste it by using it. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right. So here's our little bee live life in full bloom. So there's our first one. And I want to show you another one that I did. 
And Laura says, great project. Thank you, Laura. All right, so we want to see the next one. Look at this. You could stack these for sale at a craft fair and they wouldn't hardly take up any room. All right, the next one. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. It's using that suite we used last week. <laughs> this one's even easier. This one says, relax and enjoy your day. So this is using the dies, um, this die from that same kit, the stamps from the same set and the paper. The only extra things I'm using are this um, die. I think I got that from, let's see, the smooth sailing has a nice border or a tag die. And the one I used on the last one, if you're curious, was this one from Potted Succulents. So I just happen to have some, you know, other dies that have openings that fit the sentiments that I wanted to use. And since I have those, I'll just go ahead and use it. But you don't have to have a fancy die. You can just cut it in a square or punch a circle or whatever you've got to be um, to make your creation. So I already punched or die cut the little grassy bits here and this outline. And we're gonna play with another piece of the DSP and wondering where I put that, oh there it is. Okay, so this is the piece that I cut and I just cut this at four inches. These are already at six by six. So all I had to do was one cut and then we've got this right here so this will be different than this one. Let's go ahead and prepare our piece here. These are gonna go even faster. So before I put this in the holder though, I want to stamp on the background. That's what's fun about this one. Whoops, I need to scrap paper, hang on. So I'm gonna stamp the in memento, where is my memento? Here it is, memento. I'll get my grass image. I like how that looks, so we'll do that again. I'm making the bottom flat bits off of the page because I want it to look like it's poking up, not sitting there. So it's nice and subtle, and then on the top, we'll add the um, grasses. Oops, I need that still. And I'm gonna add the trees also. So again, I'm going to pull out my sticky notes so I can kind of guess where I want my images. So we'll put the grasses away, let's get the trees out. And I want these to kind of sit right about there. Oops, I got the... Uh, sticky notes so we're just gonna take that piece off Oop. it never happened and i would like to add some cute little birds flying off in the corner so you can see them from underneath the sticky notes but also continuing right that's so cute. All right, and then on this tag here, we will do relax and enjoy your day, which I think is a really nice sentiment to be viewing every day, right? Especially if you are crafting and creating. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and add dimensionals on the back of that right away. Since this is a home decor piece, I don't wanna be stingy with my dimensionals. I want everything to stick real good. So go ahead and add four instead of two. Oh, gasp. <laughs> And I can't stick this yet because we are putting it into this thing. So let's put this in here. See how quick this one comes together? Wouldn't this be fun to just change the scene up from like this one to this one? You could do a wintry one, a summery one. 
All right, let's put some, let's do this one with Stampin' Seal Plus. Oops, got a hair there. Maybe. And one in the middle. It's a little faster than the other way we did it. And let's go ahead and add that to the side here. I'm gonna go nice and slow so I get it straight. And then we're gonna add this right here. I want it out below the tree line here. And that's why it's so low on the other one too. Oops, I want that to be even left and right also. Right about there. And then we can glue on the, there it is, hiding. So this right here. And I like how it pokes into the sentiment just a little bit. So I'm gonna add some liquid glue, but just not on, well, we could add it to the tips, but I won't. I'm just gonna grab onto those tips and make sure I get this little side piece though. Today I get to pick up furniture for my stamp room. I have to drive an hour and take out all the seats in the van, but I'm getting some used cubicle uh, pieces. So hopefully it looks good in there. I think it will. I'm all about finding the treasures and saving, saving money, not buying new stuff, so. I like yard sailing. Is anybody else a, a fun yard sale, yard sailor? <laughs> Going to thrift stores. It's just fun to find treasures that don't cost a lot. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna line this up right here near the bottom where my paper sits underneath here and give that a press and have those little pieces kind of sticking up. Now here's a fun idea too. The ladybug trinkets are still in our clearance rack. I can't believe these are still there. I went and bought like a couple different, a couple packages. So this, I poured them all in this one jar, but I think you get 20 per container. And look how cute this is. So you get a ladybug and you get your blend out. We're gonna do dark red, dark real red, and you can color it red. It's just like a subtle hint of, of red. I'm gonna let it dry before I pick it up though and put it on there, because otherwise my finger, when I press it down, will kind of take some of that. But this is alcohol markers. They dry really fast, just like a Sharpie. Think of it like a Sharpie. So they're like a $1.80 for 20 of them, they're really cheap. I think that's the price. Anyway, yeah, you need those. You need the ladybugs and you need the, the bumblebees. <laughs> they're just too cute to, to not get. And make, make a home decor projects galore. All right, let's do, let me take, take my pick tool. Hopefully that won't take the red off. Did I wait long enough? We'll see. Doesn't look red. Okay, I'm going to put it on the tip of my scissors actually. So this is my tip when I don't know where to put something and it's sticky already and where do I wanna put it? And then I can kind of float it above where I wanna see how it would look. So, you know, ladybugs are always crawling to the highest point of, you know, whatever they're crawling on. So that's why I have that right about there. They always seem to be crawling to the top and so that they can take off. So there is our second post-it note holder. And I'll get out the other ones here so you can see them all at once. Thank you so much for watching with me and playing along. Um, I would love for you to um, get inspired and create things and make gifts for people, spread the joy that you have creating um, so, uh, to others. Because uh, when you order a box and you get it in the mail and you get excited and then you make something cool and you get have joy from that and then you get to give it to somebody else. I mean, it's just, I'm all about spreading the joy that we have crafting. It's such a nice hobby. 
um, but it's also very useful in this day and age. So here are all of the projects that we made today. Thank you for watching. Please join my email list. It's in the link there. And um, if you'd like to place an order for any of these products, you can go to orderwithdeb.com. Thank you guys. Have a fabulous weekend. And I will update you with pictures of my stamp room once I get some things uh, put together in there. All right. Have a great day. Bye.